Hello, my name is Dr. Jeffrey Archibald, and I practice restorative and preventative dentistry at Twin City Sedation in Forest Lake, Minnesota. This is the third video in a three-part series on using capnography during patient sedation in your dental practice. By now, you may have already watched the video describing what capnography is and why it's an important monitoring tool and how to properly implement capnography into your practice. This video addresses what you need to know to ensure good results and some troubleshooting tips. First, start with proper insertion of the single patient use moisture trap and filter. Place the filter in the moisture trap so the silicone gasket faces up and hydrophobic material fits inside the moisture trap opening. Using the guide marks on the back of the monitor, align the groove at the top of the moisture trap with the ridge at the top of the trap housing on the monitor. The trap is tilted in top first, then bottom. Press the moisture trap into position using the tab. The moisture trap should be flush with the side and back of the monitor. Next, place the cannula on the patient and attach the connector to the moisture trap inlet. You can use a nasal cannula or an oral nasal cannula to capture airflow from the mouth. Some cannulas deliver oxygen at the same time they sample CO2. Take a baseline reading of the patient's end tidal CO2 and respiration rate before applying a nasal hood. Flow from the nasal hood can affect the CO2 reading due to turbulent flow inside the nasal hood. Check the patient's readings again. Always ensure that audible alarms are set appropriately to alert you in the event of a respiratory problem. The monitor will always alarm in 25 seconds if the patient stops breathing. The most common issues you may encounter with a side stream capnograph are no waveform accompanied by a no breath message or a dampened waveform with a low reading. This indicates the CO2 from the patient is being diluted or the patient has stopped breathing. Here are some troubleshooting tips if the waveform is poor or absent. Always check the patient first to ensure they are breathing adequately and the cannula is properly positioned on the face. If the patient is mouth breathing, there may not be sufficient airflow detected through the nasal prongs. Check the moisture trap for a secure insertion with no air leaks. Briefly pinching off the cannula should result in an occlusion message. If you can't occlude the cannula, the trap and filter may need to be reinserted or replaced. Check the flow in the nasal hood. A high oxygen flow may be diluting the CO2 in the sampled air. Finally, check the vacuum in the scavenging system. A high vacuum can oppose the pump in the monitor and reduce the CO2 in the sampled air. Capnography can be an essential monitor for patient safety during moderate sedation and can provide the earliest indicator of an adverse breathing event. By incorporating capnography into your protocol, you will be meeting the new ADA recommended guidelines in making sedation dentistry safer for your patients.